In case anyone watching this has never seen Dan Goggin's Nonsense, the reason for the performance is that it's a fundraiser for the Little Sisters of Hoboken. They need money to pay for the burial of four of their sisters, whose bodies now lie in the convent's freezer. They are the last remnant of the nuns who perished after eating the botulism-infected vichyssoise prepared by the convent's cook, Sister Julia Child of God. And no, this is not as low as the show's humor sinks. <laughs> the five still alive sisters are borrowing the auditorium in the convent's high school, and they've agreed not to remove the set for the student's current production, Greece. The Nonsense, now at Hawthorne Players, features the most complete Grease set that I have ever seen in a Nonsense production. Ken Clark designed the set, and as the director of the production, Clark finds a way to use every element of that scenery. The burger bar, the high school stage, Sandy's bedroom, the drive-in movie, everything. The five nuns in penguin attire, each with a sense of humor and a sense of fun, sing, dance, and come up with lots of puns. I'm sure that folks who grew up going to Catholic school get something from watching nuns in full habit being silly that I, from the other side of the Reformation's great divide, <laughs> don't. I did find the show amusing the first half dozen times I saw the various <laughs> versions of it, and I enjoyed it again at Hawthorne, where they're doing the original version, though for me it's more like having a pleasant visit with an amusing old friend than a newfound source of great hilarity, though it was that for some in the Florissant audience. I think that ending the first act with the Mother Superior getting high on the rush discovered in a student locker is a bad idea. But Marilyn Woods, a superior comic actor with variety and range and a lovely slow smile, makes it work better than usual. She has great rapport with the audience, and she also has no trouble asserting her authority as Mother Superior. That's especially true in her relations with the convent's second-in-command, Sister Mary Hubert, played by Kimmy Kidd with the not-always-subtle suggestion that she could run things better. <laughs> Kidd leads a rousing gospel number for the finale. Music director Ike Eichenberger inserts himself into the number two. Tara Hoisington floats happily about as Sister Mary Amnesia, the stray <laughs> lamb who's been a few beads shy of a rosary since a crucifix bopped her on the head. Hoisington has an operatic voice with terrific high notes, and she sings a dueling duet with the smart mouth puppet, Sister Mary Annette. Leah Milton as Sister Robert Ann, the sneaker-clad gal who grew up, uh, grew up bad on the mean streets of Brooklyn, finally gets her own number, Tough and Touching. Stephanie Kluba exudes sweet eagerness as Sister Mary Leo, the novice who would enter the convent on point. They're a fine ensemble. And they're smooth Broadway hoofers, thanks to Julie Strathman's choreography. Carl Wendland's lighting joins in the fun. Costume designer Gene Heckman assembled the habits and amusing accessories. And Brian Borgstetta designed the sound. Done this well, I don't mind spending another evening with the Little Sisters of Hoboken. Nor do I. Good. So let's spend a little time with the music, too. <laughs> 